Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Astaglow here. So I want to talk to you guys about the super predators that we saw in the 2010 film called Predators. So first off, we'll talk about their physical traits. Now, although their height and strength can be debatable, they do have some visible differences from the standard predator we've always seen before. Like for example, the super predators have a more slender build. They have a more reptilian appearance as you see by their scaly-like skin and color. Another feature is their dreadlocks are more swept back than a normal predator. Their face is also longer and gives them a snout-like look effect. Now as for their weapons, the super predators only have a single long blade on their gauntlets. Their plasma caster cannon is also modified to shoot much quicker shots. They also choose to wear different amounts of metal and leather on their bodies. The berserker predator is the ultimate hunter. He was the youngest Yachua to ever kill a xenomorph alien and reach the young blood status. He is a relentless and ruthless hunter and is also shown to be sadistic as he savored the fear of the humans throughout the hunt. The berserker predator eventually led his own hunting clan, which consisted of himself and two other young blood predators known as Falconer and Tracker. The Falconer predator doesn't hunt by the normal methods like his clan members do, but instead chose to create his own deadly bird which is used to scout and observe their prey in order to give him more insight as to where the prey is located and what kind of technology they were using. The falconer predator seemed to still hunt with some sense of honor as he chose to fight to the death in an honorable final battle. The tracker predator is the one who bred and trained the hellhounds which were the dog-like creatures we saw in the predators movie in 2010. Now, they trained them so well that they helped them hunt and kill a xenomorph in record time but the hellhounds ripped up their prey so fast that there wasn't much left. The tracker predator seemed to favor the company of his hellhounds more than his actual clanmates, which in turn gave him more time to train them into such efficient killers. Now, even though the super predators were brutal killers with vicious hunting methods, they all eventually died. However, this intrigued me enough to want to see them brought back again because we got to see a different type of predator in terms of personality, physical traits, and weapons. So would you guys like to see the super predator type make a return in a future film? Put your comments down below. Thanks for watching this video and don't forget to click that like button and subscribe to the channel for more predator and alien content in the future. My name is Asaglow. I will see you guys in the next video.